So permutations, they're a lot like combinations. Uh, and you did permutations yesterday. Let me show you a two second review. Two C1 would be there were two people and you could do is only choose one of the two. Well, then there's only two ways to do that. I know the answer is two, but it could have done it with the calculator. There was a N, C. Oh, wait a minute. You guys did a P yesterday. My bad. It was P, not C. You guys were doing permutations yesterday. Sorry. P. So then it was N, P, R, and you'd put in a two first, and then you'd put in a one, and you could get the answer that way. Okay. Option B was this. Two factorial over 2 minus 1 factorial. And that's really 2 times 1, so the answer is 2. Another way we did it, it was with blanks. Two people to choose from, and one of them is going to be chosen first. I have two choices for that spot. And the other one, well, there's only one choice left. 2 times 1. All right, so there's the big picture, what you did yesterday. Let's just make sure you really got that. I see a total of 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22. I see 22 of you. Would you please do 22 P 21? If I wanted a group of 21 kids, that's pretty much everybody in here except one. But every time I change who that one is, then the diff it's different. The order matters, too. So I could do it this way. 22 factorial over 22 minus 21, which is 1 factorial, which pretty much means 22 factorial, which is a huge number. Do you remember these really, really big ones? Really, really big answers? Permutations are monstrous. 22 times 21 times 20 times 19 dot, dot, dot. It just keeps going, and it's massive. All right, so what's the difference then? A combination would mean the order doesn't matter. I want to simplify this down to things on my desk. Everybody, please write S for stapler, P for pen, H for hand sanitizer. SPH. These three things. Stapler, pen, hand sanitizer. Okay, got those three things. Now what if I only choose three of the three, or sorry, two of the three things? Then I have three, P, two. And I could choose like, I'm gonna choose the pen and the hand sanitizer. Does the order matter? Yeah, in a permutation it does. Just like first place and second place in a, in a race, it the order matters, right? So if I reverse these, it's hand sanitizer pen. And they're different. All right, so what's the answer to 3P2? You can do it any of those three ways I just showed you. You could make three blank, no, sorry, two blanks and multiply choices. You could do three and PR2. Calculators can do it that way. Option C, you could do the formula for this puppy. 3 factorial over 3 minus 2 is 1 factorial. Please do it one of those three ways. I don't care. You'll get the same answer. JP, which way are you choosing? Uh, I'll put it in. Okay. Marcella, which way are you picking? Okay, you're going to do this way? Awesome. So I got one person doing the calculator, which is this. One person doing the formula, which is this. Eddie, I want you to do it with choices. Okay, so how many choices for that first spot? Yep, there's three people, and you get to pick out of all three, so three. And how many choices for the next spot? Three. No, because if, once you pick the person, Two. they're going to be the first... They're going to be there already, and you can't have them be in two places, so there's only two choices for this. Three times two. And the answer is already six. I know it. But I'm going to just show you. If you did it by the formula, you should have done this, which would also be six. That's six. And I'm guessing, did you use the calculator? Did you get six? Yeah. Sweet. That's how you do permutations, and the order patterns. What? 
because I'm using a P, I'm trying to get you to get the difference between 7P2 and 7C2. In a permutation, the order matters. And I'm saying it with the P to connect it. to so every time you see a T, a P, you should think order patterns. Order matters. Okay? So the order matters in this kind. So half the job today on homework is just telling me whether the order matters or not. So you tell me, when you order a pizza, do you ever ask them for, you better put the pepperoni on first and then the sausage, otherwise I'm not taking the pizza. Uh, no, you don't care what order the pizza, pizza toppings go in, right? How about in a smoothie? When you blend up my smoothie, you better put the milk in first, otherwise I'm not taking it. Nobody's crazy like that. You're going to just mix them all. So smoothies would be order doesn't matter. It's a, it's a C. How about a race? Now, I will say there's been some commentary on today's society. You know, like they have a race and then everybody gets a trophy. Um, I don't think it's quite that bad. In a race, you actually do award first place, right? And second place is different than first place, right? So if it was a race, order would matter. Order patterns. It's a P. It's a permutation. If it's a combination, then the order doesn't matter. So like pizza, smoothies, the ingredients in a smoothie do not have to go in a certain order. Right? All right, so I'm going to give you one now, and you tell me, is it a P or does, is it a C? The words are officially permutation and combination, but I'll be fine with you just saying P or C. We're going to go kind of rapid fire. Three kids race across a parking lot. Alexis, the P, order matters in that. I picked two kids out of this whole class to stay after and help me clean up the floor. Sage, C, C. combination, order does not matter if I pick two kids. You guys pick a president and vice president of your class, Parker. P, because why? Because, like, there's a difference between vice president and president. So the order matters. Therefore, it's a P. All right, I think you get that part. So now, let me show you. It's very, very similar to yesterday. There's three ways to do combinations. You can either do it like this. There's six kids. Actually, let's make it this row right here. We're going to make it five. There's five kids in this row right here in front of me. This row has five kids in it. Do you get, if I pick out two of them, there's a lot of different ways to pick out two of them. If I don't care about the order, that would be 5C2. It could be Eddie and Vivi. It could be Marcella and Vivi. It doesn't matter, I need two. The order doesn't matter either. It's not like there's a boss of the two or, or one wins and the other gets second place. So this is a C. So here's your three ways. Five goes in the calculator. And CR, these are found under the probability menu of your graphing calculator. It's under math, probability. Five, NCR, two. That's the calculator way. Option B, you do five factorial over five minus two factorial is three factorial, and you might be like, that's exactly what we did yesterday. Except now there's one difference. When it's a combination, there's an extra one of those on the bottom. And then I have bad news for you. There isn't a third way. You can't do these with blanks. You can't just multiply the numbers together like five times four times three times two. It doesn't work for combinations. So you've got to do it either with the calculator with the NCR button, which is under math probability, or you got to know how to do this, which I like this way the best. Five times four times three times two times one over three factorial is three times two times one and two factorial is two times one. And there's a times between those in case it matters. So three, two, one cancels three, two, one. 20 divided by two makes 10. I know you could all done 20 divided by two in your head, right? So no calculator really needed for these. All right, got a visitor. 
All right, and let's try this one, everybody. Three, C, two. Let's try to use the factorial thingy, Bob. Like something factorial over something factorial. There's actually two factorials on a C. Starts with three factorial, and please tell me the other two, Mr. Humphreys. What are the two things that go down here? Yep, you take this and you put it as an extra one on the bottom. And then what's the one we had yesterday? Uh, just three minus yes, it is. Three minus two is one factorial. So there's a one factorial and a two factorial. Trucky, would you please tell me what three factorial really means? Three times three times one. Correct. Studer, what does this one factorial, two factorial really mean? Well, one factorial is one, so let's start with that. Okay. Times, what's two factorial? Two times, one. two times one. So the whole bottom is equal to two. I just wanted you to show why it was that way, okay? So now, this all cancels, and the bottom line, the answer is three. Raise your hand if you had three. Okay, cool, I'm gonna give you a word problem now. And you're gonna, it's a combinations one. Remember, there's two parts. There's, you can either do it with the calc, I'm fine with that. Option B, you can do it with the formula, like we just did. There's this row of three people on the edge, uh, the, up against the window, okay? Let's say I'm going to pick three, choosing out one at a time. How many different ways could that come out? J. James, how do you start this formula? It involves factorials. Uh, not really sure how to do Okay. Three factorial on the top. You always just take this number first, and that's that goes on top. Okay. Sage, do you know what the other two factorials are that go on the bottom? Something here and something here? Um, not Connor, could you shut that door? It's getting a little loud out there. Okay. We're gonna start with the three minus the one factorial, which is two factorial. Start with that one. And then what's the other one? Sage? Oh, one? Yep. I always put that one second. It's the second one of the two numbers, and I put it second down here. Okay. Three factorial is three times two times one. Two factorial is two times one, and one factorial is just one. So I like to cancel things. Look at that, three. Raise your hand if you had three again. Okay, good. Let's do one more that's just a little harder. Imagine that there are eight guys in here. I think there is in the neighborhood of that. Eight guys. I'm gonna choose out a set of Two guys. The order doesn't matter. How many different ways could I do that? Like, it might be Trucky and Chris. It could be just a lot of combos. I don't want to name everybody. Noah, do you know how to do this? What times what, or, or sorry, what factorial goes where? Eight and then two. Eight factorial. There is a two factorial, but there's one more thing. Six. Yes. Would you please finish this for me? All right. Tell me what to do now. Cancel out everything after six. Or including and after six. I didn't cancel off the last two though, right? Yeah. And then what? Final answer. Fifty-six over two. Can you do it?
the way I do these? What did you say? I'm sorry. 28. 28 is correct. I go half of 50, and then I go half of 6, and then I put them together. All right, 28 is the grand total. Raise your hand if you had 28. Look good. That is a permutation. No, no, that was a combination. And in fact, I would love to right now have everybody do it like it was yesterday. The only difference is that number on the bottom. Everybody figure out the answer if it was a permutation. What would that mean? That means the order matters. 8P2, so the order matters. 8 factorial still starts on the top. Parker, can you tell me what goes on the bottom then? Yeah, it'd be six factorial. Yes, this minus this, six factorial, and you don't have that extra two factorial. That's only on the C problems. So then it's eight times seven times six times five. I'm getting bored with that, so I just say dot, dot, dot. And then I say six times five times getting bored with that, dot, dot, dot. Cancel, cancel. What's the answer? Uh, yeah, which is? 56. But there's more answers then? Because the order matters. Do you get if I pull out two things like hand sanitizer, pen? And if I go, oh, but that's not the same as this different order, pen first, then hand sanitizer. If the order matters, then there's going to be like sometimes twice as many things. So that's why it's 28 compared to 56. The order mattered here. The order pattered. Okay, cool. That's it. You paid attention well. Now let's see if it pays off. Everybody grab your worksheet. We'll start it together. And today would be a great day for just a lot of work time. You ask me questions. Tyler, read me the first one. Basketball players needs to choose a captain and co-captain. Ooh, I thought it was going to be 8C2, and then I, as soon as you said captain and co-captain, I thought, nope, I'm doing something wrong. Do you know what I was doing wrong? Eddie, do you know what's wrong with 8C2? It's the other yeah. The order it's not C, it's what? Uh, order patterns, yes. That doesn't make you memorize the whole word. Most of the time, all you need is the P. The official word for P, permutation. All right, so, by the way, if you just want to be smart when you're talking to your friends and you're, like, talking about different ways to, like, different combos to a lock, and you're like, well, there's, there's a lot of different ways you could do this, just start being smart about the way you say it. It's either combinations or it's actually permutations. If you're talking about the... Uh, the different combos you have for the lock on your on your phone, that's not really combinations. The order matters on a password, doesn't it? Like if your password is 4321 versus 1324, they're the same numbers. On a password, the order matters. It's permutations. So if you're talking about there's a lot of different ways you could do your password, that's called a permutation. All right, so 8P2, and then I would do it. I would not grab the calculator because this is so much faster. 8 minus 2 is 6 factorial. And on a permutation, is there an extra thing over here? No. Only on the combos. So then, I'm almost done. I can just in my head go, that means the 6 on down is going to cancel. So this is just 8 times 7 and then the rest of it canceled. So the answer is 56. Stella, was that the correct numbers for this problem one? Was it 8 and 2, actually? Okay, good. There's another way, if you like this way better, there's eight choices for the first spot and seven choices for the second spot. That answer is also 56. All right, but I think on number one, didn't all you have to do, wasn't it actually just tell if it's permutation or combination? Okay, so we didn't even have to figure out the answer, but it's a good review. Number two, Eddie, read, could you please read number two? Okay, I'll come back to you for number three. Alexis, can you read me number two? So that's just a problem about going and visiting countries. Did they say anything about the order that they were going to see the countries in? So then is that a P or a C? 
or does order patter? Ah, it's a C question because the order doesn't matter. The P problems, the order matters. So this is a C con con problem, and then you put how many total countries there are here and how many they want to see there. Okay, so if they're, can you tell me the numbers that go there, Alexis? There you go. And you don't have to actually set that all up and solve it. That's what happens on the second part of the worksheet. All right, I'm giving you a ludicrous amount of time to work and freedom to come up and ask me questions. So this assignment is live and on, and that's all I have for the video for today.